Hey guys, it's Simmer's Talk and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a functional tree swing. And all you'll need is the toddler pack for this build. And what you want to start by doing is first choose a tree of your choice. I chose this oak tree, which I ended up sizing down towards the end of the video. And then you want to filter by that toddler pack and then choose out this light rope pole, which will act as our you know our swing ropes and you want to get two of these for each side and then you want to turn on these cheats that I'm turning on above and what this will do is open up a debug menu which you can search through and find these wooden planks which I'm about to show and these wooden planks will act as our C even though sims cannot sit on them I'll teach you guys how to make that work in a sec um, you want to press Control 9 and have move objects on in order to raise the object and you want to raise it so it's kind of hidden in the tree like this and then you want to go ahead and take the wooden planks you want to raise both those strings or those light rope poles six times by the way and then you want to raise that first wooden plank six times and you could just use one and set it right here or you can go ahead and do this and add it on the one half and then add the other one on the second half kind of making more of an area for the sim to sit and then once i'm done here i'm going to teach you guys how to go to my gallery because in the next step it will kind of use the tool mod but there's a way to work around it so once you got something like this, you want to go ahead and go up to the gallery and search for my gallery ID, which is right here. And then once you do that, you want to go to my profile, filter by rooms, and then find this functional tree swing room. And ignore the cottage living pack. I'm pretty sure it was just for the branch above. But other than that, if you zoom in really close, you'll find this little bar stool that I sized down. And what you want to do is you don't want to place it directly under the wood planks, but rather right in front of it, like with that little hand thingy right in front of that. So once you place that, you can go ahead and delete the room, have your sim sit, and everything will work. So if you guys like this type of video, make sure to leave a like and comment and let me know if you guys want to see more.